You'll break up with Jahyun. I refuse. So she won't go down without a fight, huh? Fine. I'm always up for a challenge. You're working after school too? But I thought you already worked on the weekends. Hmm, something came up. You never have a moment's rest. It's fine. The boss at my weekend job is really considerate. I mean it. He pays me way above minimum wage. He's nice too, really. It hardly feels like work at all. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Sion Kim. Oh, a student. Sorry, but we don't need a part-timer anymore. You should go back home. What? But just yesterday you told me. I know, but things change. I'm so sorry. Wait. Another one. It's really hard to find part-time jobs that don't overlap with school hours. Hello? I'm sorry to drop this on you so suddenly, but please stop coming to work again. I'm so sorry. I'll pay you in full for this month. Bye then. Wait, please. Why? I need to talk to him in person. Without this job, life will be even more difficult. He's only ever been kind to me. I know it's selfish to keep asking for favors, but this is the only hope I have left. Isn't that my Sion? Sion! Can she hear me? Where is she running to so urgently? Sion! Sion! Was that Granny's voice? She is lucky to be alive, but due to the severe brain damage she suffered from the collision, we can guarantee she will regain consciousness. Even if she were to wake up, I wouldn't expect her to be able to continue her previous lifestyle. I'll leave you to rest. No, please. I can't take it anymore. Yes, Zhang Wu, I... Forgive me, Jahyun. I'll do as you ask. I'll break up with Jahyun. Oh, that's awful sudden. I wonder what could have changed your mind. Not that it matters. Let's discuss this in person.